PDP man has arrived. Can you see him outside? I can. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. I just got my order from PDP. Thank you very much. Very prompt. Uh, didn't realise how big the half Xbox was. Uh, the half 922. Dun, dun, dun. It is huge. My hand. The box. And my old laptop that I've been using. Which is now dead. Still works but, you know, pretty shizzle. Anyways, I'm now going to attempt to use my tripod for the first time. Well, second time. And mount it so you can watch me unbox everything. I'm going to just put this down. If it wants to go down. Ridiculously huge. Okay. Um, my battery decided to die. It seems that every single time someone tries to make one of these videos, their battery dies. And I'm like, dude, you're a retard, just charge it. But now I completely understand. <laughs> Anyways, I've opened the top because I'm impatient. And what I found inside was these. And they're like air pockets of hair. Air, even. Turn down music. Anyways, yeah, air pockets of hair. So we don't need that. 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 Okay, we've got a load of magazines, promotional stuff. Yeah, nothing that interesting. Don't need that. We've got the a case of product guide. Uh, that is my one. I guess that's just all their other products. Again, promotional stuff. Now to the cool stuff. What the hell is this? I got a free digital photo frame, which I did not order. What the hell is that? Well, whatever. I'm not complaining. Um, my receipt. Okay, for the good stuff, we have got the Venom King of Cooling Acacia. Uh, this is the, I can't remember what model number this is, what model number is this? Uh, I can't remember. Anyways, look how fucking big that is. That is huge. That is going to fit anything I want. Yes, the Venom. Uh, secondly, we have got my motherboard, which is the Z68XUD3B3, uh, Gigabyte. Um, it's got three uh, USB ports, one USB 3.0 port and one SATA 3.0 port. Uh, also, it's SLI ready, which is cool for the future. Uh, yes, there's that. And then we have, um, ASUS PCE N13 800 2 by 11 BGN, wireless network adapter, nothing special, but it's like 300 megabytes a second, so it's better than nothing. Okay, guys. Um, sorry about the freaking keep on stopping and starting off cameras and shit. My battery's really low. I keep on having to charge it for like two minutes because I really can't be asked to wait for it to charge. So I'm going to open this stuff now. So anyways, we did the Asus Belkin adapter thingamajig. Now we have the Strider Plus 850 watt module. Well no, that says model number, but it is module, fully module. Um, yeah, it has really good reviews online, and if I remember rightly, the connectors have got a megabyte 24-20p, CPU 4-4p, PCIe 6-2p, PCIe 6p, SATA, um, 
Purple Hero 4P and a Floppy 4P, which I will not be using because that is stupid. And nobody uses Floppy these days, at least. I don't know anyone that does. On the back here, it should say what the efficiency is, and I think it's around 88%, which is really good. Let's just look there, I don't know if you can see that. Dun dun dun. So yeah, this should be enough power to power all the stuff. That there. Okay, next we have the MSI N5, N570 GTX. Um, 1208 megabyte of GD, GDDR5, DirectX 11, and dual DVI and mini HDMI, which is good. And I will have to use that mini HDMI adapter because I'm going to use a HDMI cable to plug into my HDTV. Um, yeah, awesomeness. Okay, next we have my trusty knife. We have the just the normal LG drive um, for burning and stuff. Nothing special there. Um, this is the LG GH22 NS50 22x SATA Black OEM. Yep. Nothing special, but like I said, need it. And then we have a knife again. Okay, they package very well. Bubble wrap everything. This looks like the RAM. Ah, and my solid slate drive. Okay, I'll show you this first. If I break it. Um, here I've got um, DDR3 8GB, 2 sticks of 4GB, um, Corsair RAM, uh, unbuffered, so this should do the trick, dual channel processor, awesomeness, and here we have my 60GB SSD um, Agility 3, this is the highest spec one, um, don't know if you can see here, if you can read, no the camera's not good enough, um, it's got, it reads up to 525 megabytes a second and writes up to 475 megabytes a second and I will be installing Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit on that because it will boot faster and yes. Uh, next we have Packaging again. Sorry if the battery dies. Aha! My Samsung one terabyte hard drive, spin point, blah de blah de blah. Um, 7200 rates per minute, 32 megabytes of cash. All good in the hood. That's that. And finally, we have the beast, which I was leaving for last. Oh, I haven't shown you the case yet. I'll show you the case, maybe. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Um, but yeah, this is this is the beast. This is the Intel Core i7 2600K unlocked. An unleashed processor, um, Sandy Bridge, brand new, can't wait to check this shit out, 
I think it runs at, uh, if it will tell me on the back, I think, off the top of my head, I think it was 3.4 gigahertz, I think. I tend to overclock things, and I am going to overclock this to around 4.5 gigahertz, if I can, which I'm sure I should be able to. Anyway, that's everything so far. Uh, um, sorry that I cut the video, like, completely smack bang in the middle of me showing you my stuff. But, I have now actually built my system. I'll just give you a quick tour of what it looks like. The red LED that fan looks very cool. At the moment, it's just installing the last Windows updates. Got my phone on charge, and my keyboard is up here. Let's go down there. Got the 200mm fan on top. And inside, we have got... Open this up. Inside. I'm quite proud of my cable management. Because it's actually not that bad, I think. Anyways, you've got the red 200mm fan there. You've got the other one up there. And you've got the 150 there. That's the... Um, Venom CPU cooler, my two sticks of Corsair RAM, 8 gig, my MSI graphics card, uh, as you can see, uh, um, GTX 570, and my power supply. Um, Silverstone 850 watt modular. And then here we have a one terabyte um, spin point HDD and also my um, SSD 60 gigabyte um, OZ hard drive. Uh, and we have the optical drive, which is just an L normal LG writer. So yes, everything worked first time round, so that was good. A um, couple of things to point out: um, the mount, the mounting points um, weren't already in, so I had to do that. And also, oh, another thing I've got to show you is this little card here, which is my wireless card, not that it matters, but yeah. Um, something I forgot to mention is the HDMI mini thingamajig, if I just move this around. This, I don't know if you can see, there's a little port right here, but that um, was against here and it was like bashing against it so I had to probably like jam, oh, I had to put that in quite hard and um, yeah. Also, this is one heavy PC, just to let you guys know, which I'm not complaining but yeah. Um, so yeah, overall I'm quite happy with my build, um, it is quite mahoosive, and yeah, got any comments, please rate and subscribe, and uh, thank you.